with my new X3 bar style design that I've done on my own, I'm going to be testing out for the month of April in 2021 for each of my workouts to see if it can be used to really build on more muscle to my frame than doing my standard workout program that I have on GamerBody.com. And for this video, I'm going to go over that entire workout program I will be doing for each of the workouts to then see what we get at the end of it. So for this little experiment, I'm going to be using the following items. Number one is the resistance loop bands, and I am using the SunPal bands I just received, and I'm actually doing an unboxing video for this as well. So once it's up, you can go check out that video if you wanna see what comes in the unboxing. I will also be using the Instar resistance bands bar with some quick links I've added onto it. Everything is in the description of this video in terms of if you wanna go look and buy it. And then I'll also be using the step uh, plate on the ground in order to stand on that to prevent any type of forces pushing in on my feet while doing some of the bigger lifts. And with that, let's take a look at the actual program. So for me, it breaks down to three resistance training days a week. That'll be a mo Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, or days one, three, and five, according to my training. And we'll, we'll also be doing the cardio days in between, which is I'll be jumping on the Renfo bike and completing that there. So for the actual resistance training days, here is how it will break down. For exercise number one, I will be doing the front squat. Aiming for a total of five sets here with 10 reps per set. And then after each of those sets, I will be taking a two minute or 120 second rest between each one of those sets. Next up, I have the deadlift. And for this, I will be focusing on only doing four sets, but this time of 12 reps and only taking 90 seconds or a minute and a half of rest between each one of those sets. For exercise number three, I will be doing the chest press and I'm actually gonna be putting my back up against the wall while I'm standing position to do so. Um, but for this, I'm gonna be focusing on again, four sets of 12 reps with 90 seconds or a minute and a half rest between each set. Moving to our isolation exercises, the first one will be the biceps curl. So this time we're only gonna be doing three sets, but with 15 reps per set, and then taking a 60 second rest between each one of those sets. From there, we're going to be focusing on the shoulders, doing the overhead press, again, doing three total sets with 15 reps for each set, and then 60 seconds or one minute of rest between each of those sets. Continuing on, we are now focusing on the triceps. I'm going to be doing overhead tricep extensions. And for this one, we're gonna be again focusing on three total sets of 15 reps with 60 seconds or one minute of rest between each one of those sets. Getting close to the end, I will be now doing the pull apart. And this time I'm going to be focusing on doing two sets, but of 20 reps for pull aparts with 30 seconds of rest in between each one of those sets. And the last exercise I will be doing is the calf raise. So for this one, again, we're doing two sets of 20 reps with 30 seconds of rest in between each one of those sets. Now this workout when following the proper tempo and rest periods should take me just under an hour to complete. Again, this will be done on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday of the weeks of April in 2021 to see if just doing that can help build muscle and get me putting on more mass to my frame. Of course, you have to make sure there's sleeps there and that you have some good nutrition and protein coming in. But as long as that's all in check, I want to see can I actually build muscle doing my standard uh, total body training per week and see what can happen from there. So once we get to the end of April, I will do an update on my results. I'll be taking pictures throughout, also taking my body stats throughout each day to see where I end up after that one month. So if you wanna follow this journey, make sure that you like and subscribe to this video to stay on top of my results and see if this is something you want to look into for your home gym. Also, make sure you head over to GamerBuy.com. There you can check out my current home workout program, all the equipment I actually own and use, and the information I continue to learn from to build muscle and confidence all from the comfort of home. And that's it. So again, please like and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video. Be fit and game on.